It's so cold. Dude, it's literally like three degrees. Couch job, that was- <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. We are wrapping up the week right now. It is Sunday. Uh, I, I'm a little, my nose is a little stuffed, so I sound weird, my bad. But uh, it is Sunday. All we're doing right now is picking up the trailer like we usually do. Then we're headed um, about 20 minutes away to do a really small curbside job, uh, a couch and a sofa. There's still quite a bit of snow on the ground. Um, yeah, we've been getting kind of like sleet slash snow the last couple of days. Uh, so it's been pretty damn cold. Okay, good to go. Okay, we just got done picking up that couch job. Here's a little background footage of me cutting this thing up and then loading it in the trailer. Um, we did that couch job for 1.30 and then that, this was on Sunday. And if you can't tell already, this video is just going to be over the course of a week because it is the slow season. We don't have jobs, but we do end up getting a couple more and making some good profit in this horrible weather. Okay, we cut that thing up to flatten it out, make some room, move the couches around. So the couch is definitely about a fourth load. I could probably charge more if you want it. My trailer isn't that big, so it's fine. Um, these items were from before. Hello, good morning. It's a nice warm 16 degrees right now. Nothing like airing up that old tire. This is so bad, guys. That's a hill. Luckily, I have four wheel drive, but even then, dude, I'm like sliding as we speak. Yeah, I kind of forgot where we're, uh, where we're at. Nothing is paved where the trailer's at. So hopefully I don't get stuck. My tires have like no tread on them. It's super pretty out there. I actually like the snow a lot. As long as you dress for it, but it just causes so many problems with the trailer. I mean, look at this. I should have put the tarp on it. I don't know what's going on. I can't get my key to fit inside of here. It's the weirdest thing, I don't know. Guys, I don't know what it is. I think it's just frozen solid or maybe somebody fucked with it, but I cannot get my key to go in the hole. And the cylinder is just frozen in place, so I can't jiggle the key in there, but that's some BS. That was such a pain in my ass. Okay, we're good now. so powdery dude i love snow i'm from florida so i don't really see it that much but um yeah it's cool yeah there we go beautiful now let's go slide all over the road maybe it's my gloves i'm so thankful for four wheel drive that was so easy to get out of there i'm so positive i just had someone call me and try to get my prices like definitely let me know if that happens to you guys like competitors or people trying to start a business take your prices also guys check this out so we just booked this job um got a call about a week ago for it and scheduled it out we're getting all the miscellaneous stuff guys um there's a basement there's this stuff. It's really not that much, but it will be a little bit time com time consuming. It shouldn't take too long. We're gonna put it all, if we had two people, it'd be right away, but the weather's bad. I'll keep more of the profit for myself. But, um, right, that's the only thing. Probably won't be able to get that. But yes, this is everything. Or no, wait, it's just the mis miscellaneous stuff for the most part. And then in this slightly creepy basement, we're grabbing all this stuff besides the paint. And then this is the bigger pile right here. Um, 
and we're leaving the chemicals, taking everything. It's really, I don't think it's gonna be that bad, but we gotta get started right now. All right, guys, I'm doing a quick voiceover because I started tweaking because I thought I was hearing some weird noises in the basement. Anyways, I gave this guy a range over the phone, which I don't recommend doing. I gave him a range of 190 to 290, and we ended up charging the full 290 price. Um, I thought the job wasn't gonna take as long as it did, and it still doesn't look like that much stuff, but just the labor involved because all that stuff kind of fell apart and we had to bag everything and I don't know, it just took a while, so it probably should have been a little bit more. It's coming along. Alrighty. We got this cleared out. It is actually taking a while. Um, I mean, we're still gonna make great profit, but this is the only thing I'm worried about, man. I don't know, I think I can manage to get it down, but it might break. We'll see. Then we got the basement. All right, guys, we moved the trailer. We're trying to make this as easy as possible. Probably even back it up further. Gonna load these, I think. And then everything that's in the basement. Okay, this is definitely taking longer than I thought, but profit's good, I don't care. Um, cleaned out the creepy ass basement it's really creepy down there and then there's a creepy like little tunnel that goes through here so but we got it cleared it's just gotta grab this tv and then we're gonna attempt to get that tv from upstairs down but if we can't it's no big deal holy crap guys i know that doesn't look that heavy well i'm telling you it's very big very awkward it is really heavy guys guys this is why i have to hit the gym man trying to lift it up but it's just impossible i can't i can't with that so we're just gonna have to let this shit fall all right guys got the bag 290 i know for I know for some of you big guys, you're like, why the hell did you underbid that? Guys, I don't know. I'm addicted to underbidding. I can't stop. Nevertheless, the profit for this job will be, um, you know, where I want it to be. So just from this job, if we go to the dump, our profit will be 200, which great. Awesome. It will, it will take like an hour or two at the dump scoop and everything out because it just takes a while. This job took us essentially... Just a little over two hours, but it felt like four. I thought we were there way longer. Um, if we had an employee, definitely would have been done in one hour. But we also had that couch job that was on the curbside. 130 plus 290 for 420. So, hey, that's pretty good profits right there. Um, yeah. If we were paying for advertising um, on Google and stuff, not worth it not worth it once you start doing that we're gonna have to raise our prices for sure this is so sketchy there's like oh no we'll drive dude it's like safely can't even tell but it's snowing i think it might just be windy all right now this is going to be the sketchiest part is going down this thing right here Oh my gosh, dude. All right, we're gonna just put it in four-wheel drive and go. This guy probably thinks I'm like on some fuck shit. There you go, truck. Dude, let's go. Such a good vehicle right here. a mess a mess man it's just slid off the block that's fine that's fine it's more secure that way actually so. our yard signs are back there one of them did fall over because of the snow i was wondering about that i got like 90 yard signs that i could put out but it's just supposed to snow it's gonna mess it up so there's no point it's near where i live look at this about every, on every block, there's houses that have like furniture. 
like a like a bed or like just something all out on the curb look there's another mattress up here a better couch on the curb i might go ahead and like start door knocking and see if they want this stuff gone and i don't know i think it might be hard to sell for like 100 but maybe for the minimum or if i cut them a deal just to get a bunch of jobs um but check this out look literally up the street too there's three so if we did that i mean they're all curbside if we only charge 75 for each of them if i just charge the minimum for all that stuff it would take like no time at all and that would be 225 could be worth it Guys, check out this Google review we got from that last job. Usually, I'm really bad about getting them, but I asked him, and he sent one over right away. What's up, guys? It's so cold, dude. No. We got to air up the tire. Dude, it's literally like three degrees. But it doesn't feel that bad unless it's windy. My tire's screwed. It's snowing again right now. Can't even see it, but I promise it is. Snowy, icy roads, don't mind if I do. No trailer brakes, yes please. But yeah, we gotta get gas, dump that last trailer load because I didn't do it yesterday and then go to another job that we got. I'm fairly certain it's from a repeat customer off of Yelp, but I'm also not too incredibly sure it might be a, a new customer, but I do not advertise on Yelp anymore. I used to, but it's not really worth it unless you use the free advertising. Um, budget that they give you guys this key just fucking broke inside of the lock so I don't know what the fuck fucking stuck <sighs> okay what's up guys hopefully you can hear me I got an earbud in um but we are headed to the customer's house as we speak yeah I tried for like a little over an hour trying to get that lock off and I just got to the point where I was fucking up my trailer. So I I just called it quits and I said, screw it, like we'll just take the uh, truck over and leave the trailer and load everything in the back. Even though this is a short bed and it's gonna be really hard to fit it all. We'll see how it goes, but um, don't like not having the trailer. It just seems a little bit unprofessional and I already look kind of like a young little schlub guy. You guys can't see it, but we got the cushions in here. We just got done picking up that sectional. The pictures made it look way bigger than it actually is. But we got all the cushions back here and you can't, yeah, you can't see it. This was one of those jobs that you absolutely live for. Super nice and easy, easier than expected. No disassembly, was right at the front door. Happy, happy customers even tipped a little extra we did get help from a helper just one of our friends because most of our helpers are out all right we are leaving the house right now do not look at my address guys that is legal we are headed to go work at amazon for bezos of course um yeah guys Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Um, all those jobs were over the course of a week. So we started Sunday and the last job you saw was Saturday. Um, but anyways, um, let's go over numbers really quick. We did 745 in sales, I believe, or right around there. And then profit um, for the week was right around 500, 550, just somewhere around there. Um, and again, that's just like taking out gas, paying helpers and dump fees. Um, but it's not including insurances and stuff and advertising, which I don't pay very much of currently. But anyways, it doesn't include that. Um, but yeah, guys, it's still very slow. It's still very cold. It's January. It's really hard to get a lot of jobs. But uh, look, we got the fireplace going because it's so cold. It's literally was in the negatives and was zero degrees while we were doing this stuff. I don't know how safe it was for me to be doing that, but we made it happen. We got money. Um, anyways, 
So $500 for the week is not bad, especially if you're doing it as a side hustle. But truthfully, I don't want to be doing this as a side hustle. I want to grow it to be a business. So business-wise, utterly horrible. Side-hustle-wise, great. Um, I am working my night job, so financially, totally good. But anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. I hope it's not too slow for you if you're doing the same thing. Yeah, subscribe, like, all that stuff. All right, bye.